Imagine a warm summer evening, the smell of charcoal fills the air, laughter and chatter echo around, and you're at a backyard barbecue party. But what's a barbecue party without the star of the show, the barbecue sauce? Picture this. Larry, a friendly neighbor, is manning the grill. He's flipping burgers, tending to steaks, and slathering ribs with a rich tangy sauce. The aroma is irresistible. The crowd is drawn to it, their curiosity piqued. They take a bite and their faces light up in surprise. The barbecue sauce, it's unlike anything they've tasted before. It's smoky, it's sweet, it carries a hint of spice, and it's homemade. Yes, that's right. Larry's secret weapon is his homemade barbecue sauce. The barbecue sauce isn't just a condiment here, it's the soul of the party. It's the magic that transforms ordinary grilled meats into a culinary delight. It's the reason Larry's barbecue parties are always a hit. Now, doesn't that make you want to create your own show-stopping barbecue sauce? Stay tuned, as that's precisely what we're about to dive into. Believe it or not, barbecue sauce has a rich and interesting history. Dating back to the first colonies in America, settlers were introduced to barbecuing by Native Americans, but the sauce we know and love didn't come into play until a little later. The first recorded barbecue sauce originated from the southern states around the 18th century. This early version was a simple concoction of vinegar, butter and pepper, providing a tangy accompaniment to the smoked meats. As settlers moved westward, the sauce evolved, taking on local flavors. In the Carolinas, they added mustard. Kansas City sweetened it up with molasses. Texas brought the heat with chili peppers. Over time, these regional sauces have continued to evolve, each carrying a unique blend of flavors reflecting its local heritage. They're a testament to the culinary creativity and diversity that makes American barbecue a beloved tradition. So, now you know the history, but how about making your own? Let's move to the practical side of things. Making your own barbecue sauce might sound intimidating, but it's actually quite simple. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty of creating your very own barbecue sauce. The ingredients you'll need are simple household items. Ketchup, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, honey, Worcestershire sauce, lemon juice, and a spice blend of your choice. Let's start with the base of your sauce. Pour two cups of ketchup into a saucepan. The ketchup is crucial as it provides the rich, tangy taste that is the hallmark of any good barbecue sauce. Next, incorporate half a cup of apple cider vinegar. The vinegar adds a deliciously sharp zing, giving your sauce the perfect balance of sweet and sour. Now it's time to sweeten things up a bit. Add half a cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of honey to the mix. The sugar and honey will caramelize beautifully as the sauce cooks, creating a lusciously thick and sticky texture that clings to your barbecue perfectly. Next, we'll add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and a tablespoon of lemon juice. These ingredients add depth and complexity to the flavor profile, making your sauce truly unforgettable. Finally comes the spice blend. This is where you can really make the sauce your own. A teaspoon each of smoked paprika, black pepper, garlic and onion powder would do nicely. If you like a little heat, add a pinch of cayenne pepper. Once all the ingredients are in the saucepan, stir them together until they're well combined. Then let the sauce simmer on low heat for about 20 minutes. This gives the ingredients time to melt together, creating a harmonious blend of flavors. It's important to remember that the sauce will thicken as it cools, so don't worry if it seems a little thin at first. Once it's cool, it'll have the perfect consistency for slathering on your favorite barbecued meats. And voila! You have your homemade barbecue sauce. But wait, we're not done yet. Now that you have your sauce, how long should it cook? And should you marinate it or not? These are the questions we often find ourselves pondering in the kitchen. When it comes to cooking your barbecue sauce, time is of the essence. It's not a race, it's a slow dance. You want to let your sauce simmer gently on a low heat for about 20 to 30 minutes. This period allows the flavors to mingle and meld together, creating a harmonious symphony of taste. It's like a good conversation. The longer it lasts, the deeper it gets. And just like a conversation, you don't want it to boil over. So keep an eye on your sauce, stirring occasionally to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the pot. Now let's talk marinating. This step is like letting your food take a nice long soak in a flavor hot tub. The barbecue sauce, with its complex and bold flavors, seeps into the meat tenderizing it and infusing it with a character that's unmistakably barbecue, but how long should you marinate? Well, that depends on the meat. For delicate seafood, a quick dip of 15 to 30 minutes is sufficient. Chicken and pork benefit from one to two hours of marinating. 
But for beef and lamb, a longer soak of four hours to overnight can take the flavor to the next level. One important thing to remember is that marinating is not cooking. So don't use all your sauce for this process. Set some aside for basting during cooking and for serving at the table. That way, you ensure every bite is bursting with that barbecue goodness. Oh, and one last tip for the road. If time is not on your side, don't fret. Even a quick 15-minute marinade can give your dish a hint of that smoky barbecue flavor. Remember, patience is a virtue when it comes to cooking and marinating. So take your time, relax, and let the flavors do their magic. You're on your way to the perfect barbecue experience. So, there you have it, the secret to a perfect barbecue sauce. We've journeyed through the fascinating history of this beloved condiment, from its humble beginnings to its place on our dinner tables today. We've unraveled the intricate art of creating a barbecue sauce, highlighting the importance of balance between sweetness, tanginess, and smokiness. And we've also discussed the vital role of cooking and marinating because, let's face it, a barbecue sauce is nothing without its time on the heat and with the meat. But remember, the key to a perfect barbecue sauce lies in practice. It's about trying, failing and trying again until you create a sauce that's uniquely yours. A sauce that makes Larry's barbecue party a hit. A sauce that's the talk of the office. Now, you're all set for your next barbecue party. But don't forget to join us next time as we'll dive into the world of marinades. Trust me, you don't want to miss this.